Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, K9Gamer here once again with a new Let's Play and this time Let's Play Killzone! Released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2, a first person shooter developed by Gorilla. Uh, Killzone was meant to be the answer for Microsoft's Halo and the game was advertised or tried to be advertised as a Halo killer, which it wasn't, but it was still a good game which spawned four sequels and two spin-offs over the years. And this is the first one, and Killzone 1 was the only game that was released for the PlayStation 2. And now, let's start playing the game. Oh, no profile card. Well, one moment, I guess I have a wrong memory card, which is saved, so one moment, ladies and gentlemen. And there, we're back. I found the right mem memory card which had my previous game saved. Well, I could have created another one, but I decided that, that that's too much, much of a hassle as all my memory cards are located right next to me. But anyway, as I was about to say, let's start playing and see what the story of the Killzone universe is. Oh, the only thing I want to say before I start the game is that it has inspiration as the intro showed of real world wars. But without further ado, let's start playing. Let's take normal difficulty. Oh yes, and you get four different characters which you can switch during missions and I'm gonna select characters randomly. For now we can only play as I don't know if he's Colonel Templar or Sergeant Templar, well... But we have to start as Templar, and every time I get a chance to select a character, I will do it randomly, so, and it changes the gameplay a little bit. Now let's get to it. This comms are getting worse. Anyone else receiving? Getting cut off here. Shit. What do we do, sir? We have to get back to the main line. Jesus. You trying to get yourself killed? Who are you? Private Sanchez, sir. Don't worry about those hell gas, sir. They're walking right into one of our minefields. their tracks. How long will the minefield hold them? Uh, not much longer, sir. They've been trying to find a way through all day. You know this area, Sanchez? Yes, sir. I've been covering the hell gas here since the whole thing began. But I've lost comms with the forward post on the Ridgeback. Okay, Sanchez, you take point. we got to stop the hell gas breaking through our lines and get us out of this alive. Yes, sir. game doesn't have a uh, iron sight. You can only zoom like this. And the controls compared to this competitor, Halo, is much stiffer and, it comes, and I find it a bit more difficult to aim. As you can see, it's a hey, bit. They're attacking the right flank. I'll create a way out of here. Give me some covering fire. As you can see, it's a bit stiff. The 
when trying to do aiming. Hey, let's get the hell out of here. Follow me. And I also want to mention that the game did have a HD release for the PlayStation 3 called as a Killzone trilogy, which concluded Killzone 1, 2, and 3. But I, I don't own the Killzone trilogy, trilogy, but I do own almost all the games that the game released. The only game that I do not own is the PlayStation Vita spin-off game. Could imagine. Also, your NPCs do kill enemies, so you don't have to do everything by yourself, but... Oh yeah, damn, don't have any... Enemies. we go. Uh, oh. uh, it just, just takes me to uh, objectives. Retake the main trench. No, no, no. Uh, when pressing select, that's what it does. But man, it takes some time until it returns to the game. This is the...
controls they do feel very stiffy got company Oh yes, L1. How did you which weapon? Ah yes. Pressing the circle button. Let's take the hell gas weapon. Its alternative fire is that it has a one shotgun round in it. Very useful in close quarters. Um. Cover mode. Try cooking the grenade this time. I... Well, I actually did that already. Fuck, well. Whoa! He's a coming! But it's it. but you do have regenerative health that you don't need to pick up med packs in this game, which which is actually good because of the clunky control. Ah, Captain Templer, you're still alive. This building leads to the city outskirts. You'll need to cross the industries to get to HQ. Hellgas have broken through. They're already in this part of the city, so be careful. Good luck, sir. Ah, so we're Captain Templar. Oh yes, I think we're... Well, I'm not gonna wanna spoil the future games. Let's leave it at just that. Uh, did I have a... No, you, I don't think you have a jump button in the game. No, I don't think. Uh, it's a bit weird playing these old shooter games when you got the modern shooter game control schemes and... Ah, well, we comp completed the first mission. Victory. It only took us 10 minutes. So that means let's keep moving more. Kills 28, shots part. Hit efficiency 18%. As you can see... Shooting is gonna be a challenge, but maybe I'll get better once I keep playing more of this game. Now let's save the profile. Now let's continue on. Keep your head down! Captain Templar, are we pleased to see you, sir? We managed to hold our position against the first attack, but we're pinned down by sniper fire. There's a sniper rifle up the water tower. We can give you covering fire while you retrieve it. Let's go! Oh yes, I actually remember. The sniper rifle is the worst weapon in the game because it has one of the weirdest control schemes I have ever tried. You'll have to climb up this ladder to get the sniper rifle. We think the sniper is located in a building at the end of the street. 
The scope on the rifle will allow you to zoom in until he fills the crosshair. As you can see, you when you move the right hand log stick, you can. No! No! Not no! It moves it the boy. crosshair, but it's very, very clunky. Kill them! <laughs> As you can see, it's a very fidgety. Get the bastard! Come on, man, let's fall back to the HQ! Advance! Ambush! Attack! Here they come! Cover their position! Attack! As you can see, this is... We need support! Keep shooting! But I think, well, can I already switch? Because I'm, I don't like using the sniper rifle in this game at all, unless it's mandatory. But let's keep moving on. Let's at least try to reach the next checkpoint. Move up! Come on! Get a move on! that shot coming from? Damn, now. Ah, well, at least I can move. King Scatter! Grenade! What was the missing objective? Enter the shuttle repair base. Now, whoa! Got well, it seems that you can't heal completely, or you do heal over time. Now, I wish I actually had a flashlight. That might, that would be a bit useful. Do I need to enter the pipe? No, I don't think I can. 
Hmm. Oh, well, actually, I do. Just that difficult to make out. Now, let's play until I reach the next checkpoint. Attack! 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 Phew! That was a close one. Time to switch. Over here, Captain Templar! We need all the help we can get! Follow me! And this game is definitely a difficult game on normal difficulty. I think I played it on easy back when I was a kid, but maybe I'll manage with the normal difficulty now. Or maybe not. We shall see. Ah, and now we've reached the checkpoint. Now let's see what's the next mission objective. Get ready! ABC approaching! Keep shooting! We've got to take out that enemy ABC! Get down there and use the missile launcher! Okay, so that's our next mission objective. Well, I'm gonna cut the video here now that, that I reached the checkpoint. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Hell first yeah. video of Let's Play Kill Zone. I'm K9 Gamer, and if you enjoy these kinds of Let's Play, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, give comments, feedback, all that good stuff, and join me again in the Killzone Let's Play video coming very soon. But until then, as always, I'll see you, and I see you later.